Guys, welcome back to the channel and to part 13 of my 1978-79 Mark II Escort panel van Resto Mod slash, slash Restoration. In the last video, we stopped at the A post, A pillar. I was busy repairing that rot. It was getting progressively worse as it was carrying along. I was doing a lot of discovery work. But let me take it to the post and just catch up and to tell you what my next moves are. Okay, so we at the a post if you can recall in the last video i fabricated this piece which kind of goes something like that you know something like that and um this section this section was uh there you know something like that the section was something like that there and then i cut all this away and I took this thing off to discover this nightmare. Now I really don't know what the original, you know, the original um, molds were, how the original design was, because it's all rotted away as you can see here. So I'm just going to make my my own my own thing here. I noticed that it's linked inside to the dashboard which is also quite corroded inside there let me just put this light on there which is quite corroded inside there all these mark escorts rot like this here so you can see there's quite a bit of rot inside there i'll have to make a plan inside there and that's all linked to this plate here so i'm assuming this plate would run down in something like this to join up here and that's all rotted away obviously and i'm assuming this was all closed over here when i made this thing when i made this thing i made it like that this is the outer skin so i'm assuming that the inner skin here closed all of this up maybe welded maybe from year to year you know like from here this edge up to this edge and actually closed all of this so I'm going to fabricate, I'm going to do some plate work from here. I don't know if it went all the way up. It is rotted away here, but I don't know if it went all the way up. I doubt it actually. I think it actually, I think it actually just broke free here. And I think it probably just came down like that. So I'm going to do some plating here to cover all of this up. The, this section here that I, that I made, like I said, this is the outer skin. Because I think these are all double skinned. This outer skin, so I have to make one on the inside that will do that. This will be all, I'll make this section separate here. And then I'll fabricate this section, which will join up onto this section. This section here will all be one here. Then this will come down onto that. I'll weld it there. And I'll do the similar, I'll do the similar style like this, where I put in pieces and weld it together. And afterwards I'll do the complete weld and grind so only I'll be able to get this type of shapes here and then I'll come down and try to replicate this when I take this off I'm going to obviously take a, a grind or something and just clean this rust off and put some of that rust converter inside here because I'm not going to replace in that that's actually quite solid there this is the plate that's rotten there so I'm going to take all of this off first I'm going to fabricate this here before I remove this and um and then I'll start removing this. Alright, as in the other videos, I'm not gonna show the fabrication process because that will take forever. Because generally it's a, it's a few tries before I get it right. But anyway, I'm gonna start doing this section here and then I'll move on to that section. Okay, so I came up with something like this. This is all off cut, so never mind all of this here. Because actually I'm gonna all cut this off and then I'm gonna join everything on. You know, so it's kind of something like that. I don't know if I must carry on all the way up here or if I'll just join it here, but I'll see as I go along. So this section will obviously re replace all of this inside here. See, this is bent over here. I'm not sure if this, uh, really, I don't know. I'm just going to do my own thing here. At the end of the day, we're not going to see this. The outer skin is going to cover this. All I need to do is just strengthen 
this A post section here. That's basically what I need to do, just strengthen this A post section here. So I'm going to carry on and uh, I'll show you when I'm done or as I go along. Just a quick update, I cut this off and it fell, it actually fell here. So this is part of the, the inner dash that was inside there. You can see that's totally corroded away. And then obviously I grinded all of this with it, uh, one of the deburring tools. And I'm going to put some anti some rust conversion on here and then we'll start fabricating some steel to close this lot up Alright guys, so <clears throat> this is how this thing came out here. I don't think it's actually too bad. This is nice and strong now. Except that this section, this is the only connection. This is the only connection here to this um, superstructure here of the of the van. You know, all this is nice and strong here to the A-pillar. I'm going to just obviously trim this off, but I'll get to that section. So this is the only connection to the superstructure and I'm kind of not happy with with this connection here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to join it up and actually close this whole area in here. So this is like, you know, stronger than this. You know, like weld all this up here. Put another plate in here. I think that's what I'm going to do just to strengthen this a little bit the section a little bit more although this is going to all be joined up here you know to to this i still feel i want to maybe just come down here with a plate to the section here or something i'll i'll decide what i'm going to do now here and then i'm going to weld that section in there okay
Okay, so that's how I joined this lot up. I put in this patch here and um, welded it in. Can't really clean this wells inside here because the grinder can't get in there. But I'm gonna leave that. Nobody's gonna see that. The other outer skin's gonna cover all of that. So I think that's actually quite fine. I'm gonna just now finish this section off here and then I'll probably have to take this off in order to repair this this rust here on this section here but this is much much stronger now much stronger okay okay what I think my next task could be here is just to finish this corner off here so I'm just going to weld this here Cut this off here and then I think I'll just join this better here like I'll put just a piece inside here just to make this flow like you know make that flow a little or close this gap up a little bit here so it is not open and um, then I'll just reassess everything afterwards So this is how I finished this area off now here. Yeah. I obviously joined it there to the original body and I joined this up onto this and then I closed that gap and I, and I actually heat it downwards. So should they have any water ingress here it will kind of hopefully flow down. But yeah I guess there shouldn't be any ingress. But anyway that's how I closed that. Once again that didn't come out too bad. I'm not going to join this here. Because I really, uh, once again, I don't really know if this was like this, you know. I think this was, I think this was like this. This is part of the, 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 the top skin. This, this isn't part of this. This is actually underneath this here. You can see me moving it. Then we can see me moving it. Because the original piece, which was like this, that, that like came on here. Something like that. And then it had this weird eye which said something like that here you know this said something like this i don't think i want to replicate this hole because i really don't know what it's for i'm just going to close all of this up and make sure that it slopes downwards because like i said this was something like this and i really don't know what this hole was for anyway if there's any of you said know what this hole was for, uh, put it in the comments. It'll be quite interesting to know why this hole was here. Because I've seen it in other videos from other guys also. That this hole is there. I don't know what the purpose is. So I'm not going to put it there. It serves no purpose to this. not adding anything to the strength. So anyway, that's where that's going to be like that. I'm going to just put the other pieces on here quickly. That, um, you know, that must fit on there. So this is this piece that I fabricated here. This is the outer skin that will sit something like that. And it will go all over, all over that. This obviously I must curve around to join this piece here. But that sits something like that there. Let me just put this vice grips on top here quickly. Okay, I put the vice grips there because this is obviously going to join there. And remember that rusted thing inside there that will be there so once this is on I won't be able to do that so I must do that section before I put this on so this is basically how this is going to come I'm obviously going to finish all of this off because I don't have all that fancy bending tools and stuff there I must segment my steel and then once this is welded up and I grind it away it'll be 
the same anyway then that that sits like that this will obviously well down here and then I have this gap here which is fine I can close that up that's no no issue there that goes like that that goes around this will join up to this section here and then this is this piece will go in here something like that obviously I'll work it and trim it and this obviously goes to there but this piece that comes here flows all onto here like that so so when the water flow when the water comes down here it will go down here and to the ground so this closes all of this up here the section that comes here so anyway that is how that's going to be okay guys i'm ending this one here as i'm working towards completing this corner here this actually has been quite a a thick section i'm actually expecting the same on the passenger side but i'll bomb that bridge when i get there so yeah in the next video i will take the top part of the dash off and try to finish this corner to try finish this corner off so i can start moving on so anyway if you like this give us a thumbs up add a comment share subscribe i'll catch you on the next one cheers for now